Hello. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, I have a box of mystery here. Okay. I'm going to give you a choice. You can either open the box now, take a peek at what's inside, or keep the mystery for yourself until the end. Your choice. I'd like to look. You'd like to look. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm just going to give you a little peek. Yes. And you just keep this to yourself. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. So you know what it is? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Go ahead and place that in a pocket where I can't get to it. Okay. And it was Marie? It was. Marie. Have you seen the movie The Matrix? Yes. Excellent. Well, this is nothing like that. Oh, okay. I know. But there's a choice that needs to be made. Okay. The red or the blue. 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 You got it. We will use the blue deck. But what I'd like you to do is name any card from within inside that red box. Not the Ace of Spades, not the Queen of Hearts. So not any card. <laughs> uh, out of the card. 50 cards. You have 50 options. Okay. The Six of Diamonds. Well, that's a good one. Okay, not, not a lot of people say that card. <laughs> All right, Six of Diamonds. Let's go. Th oh, there it is. Amazing. The Six of Diamonds. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, I appreciate. Nice. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, that was, yeah, that's more of like an audience test for you, just okay. to see, you know, what I could get away with. Um, but think about this. You could have named any card could have. from the from the red box. Could have. Um, but you named the six. I did. Would you like to trade it for the four? No. How about the two of spades? No. The three of hearts? I'm loyal. I can tell. That's good. That's good. That is good. Because at the end of this, you're going to say to yourself, oh my gosh, what if I had changed my mind? Nah. See, so as you name one card from the red box, you name that six of diamonds. That would have to make it a red card. Ooh, that was cool. That's kind of weird, right? Because it came from the blue deck. So now she she may be wondering, what if I had named another card? You're thinking, would this trick have worked? Yeah, and the answer, I am thinking that. Yeah, and the answer is no, it wouldn't have. So thanks for being here tonight. Appreciate no you making the drive no to make this to make this trick a success. But uh, but now Marie's card is easy to find, right? Yes. I mean, I, I don't have I know what, what the face is. But I don't want to find it by the face, I want to find it by the back. So I go through and I find the one red backed card, and I know that that's your card. Oh shit, hello. <laughs> Alright, so the, it, it, obviously it makes my job harder when they all tend to blend together. But usually there's always one card. Oh, the, yeah, there's, there's oh. one blue card, the Six of Diamonds. Yeah. 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 Hmm. Now that, that is the only blue card in this entire red deck. But originally, you named the Six of Diamonds from a red box. I did. Is it red now? Making it a red card. Oh! <laughs> and of course, if this cool. is the red deck from the blue box, then inside the red box, yeah, it should be deck. that blue deck. Thank you very much. Ooh. Thank you. Wow. Okay. All right, now we can put these back in their boxes. Uh, Marie, would you like to keep that card or pick a new card? Loyal. You Loyal. All right, I love it. Go ahead and keep that, and if you would be so kind as to take this marker and sign your name nice and big right across the face of that card. Fantastic. I'll take that. And we've never met before, right? So there's no way I'd know what your signature looks like? No. Correct? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being rude. Can anybody? <laughs> We're good. We've got to drive. <laughs> Yeah, the liquor upstairs is much better. Um, Marie. Yes. If you were to see this card again, you would know it. This isn't a card again. It's not a sweater. No. But if you were to not. see this card again, yes. you'd know it to be your very same card, Mine. right? This is your destiny. Now, you guys are familiar with the iPhone, right? And the fingerprint scanner on it. Mm -hmm. I have that same technology in this deck of cards. I know that sounds crazy, but each card can actually scan your finger. Each card can actually scan your fingerprint. To locate your selection. Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. I apologize. We'll, we'll place that back. It just jumps. Um, yeah. yeah, you gotta you gotta keep a tight grip on that, otherwise it flies out. Um, but that that scanning technology is actually embedded into each one of these playing cards. Since you took a card, it's got your fingerprint. You right. signed it. It's coded to you now. Here, let's uh let's try to do this. Hold out one finger for me. Turn it over like that. Thank you for giving me that finger. You'd be surprised what I get when you say, give me a finger. So, I know. We just scan your fingerprint and we can find your card. It unlocks the magic, kind of like how it unlocks the phone. We'll leave that there. Uh, once again, as I go down the side of the deck, you call out stop. Stop. Right here. Hold out one finger. We scan that print. We find the card. That's weird. I know, especially since it's sitting it's there. there. Because you're probably wondering what the, what this is. Well, yeah. that's a paradox. That's what that is. That's like uh, like two doctors, right? Yeah. It's a yeah. paradox. <laughs> right, yeah. All right. Once again, as I go down the side of the deck, you call out stop. Stop. Excellent. 
we scan that print just like that. <laughs> but see, this only works for you. See, uh, Jonathan, you didn't select a card, right? No. So let, let's do this. Say stop. Stop. Hold out one finger. Look, we scan the print. Yeah, nothing happens because who cares, right? He didn't. Right. I didn't sign a card. Yeah. <laughs> no offense. It's not about Jonathan right now. It's right. about you, Marie. So look, me. one finger right on that jack. <laughs> no. Now, if you keep that finger out, not only can I use your print to find her card, right? I can use it to duplicate and copy your card. Oh. But see, that's the illusion. So your card was never here at all. Now my finger feels weird. <laughs> no, that's PCP. No, I mean, I'm just, but look, these are actually the uh, the four aces, right? That's no. one. That's two. That's three. Oh, hey, that's four. Which means that no. Marie's card had to have gone somewhere, right? Look, remember Back how it tends to jump no. to the pocket? Yeah. Now, um, a lot of magicians won't tell you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, a lot of magicians won't tell you what they're going to do before they do it. I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to take Marie's card and I'm going to make it vanish from right here while you stare at it. So you know what to look for and you know where to look. One, two, three. Ah, oh, shit, hold on. Check. <laughs> one, two, and one for good measure. Three. Aha! Yes! Nailed it, right? Not on top. That'd be too easy. Uh, not on the table. That would be obvious. Of course, once again, we know that Marie's card had to have gone somewhere. Where? In my pocket. That's right, that's right. But you know, be, oh, you know what? Before oh, I forget. No. Oh, no. Go ahead and no take that, that little tin out. No way. Now you, you peeked inside, yes. right? And yes. you saw something. Yes. Is this what you saw? Yes. It's a folded up playing card. It was a red so it's card. been there. It's been it there since the beginning. Uh huh. No. But now you're starting to yeah. wonder: Did it always have Marie's signature? No. Oh. Did it? No, I don't know. It was there you are. Up. Thank you very much. Oh. Wow. That was great. That Thank was you. Amazing. Thank you so Thank much. You. That was awesome. All right. Thank you. Wow. You see? No. <laughs> No way. My oh. finger feels weird. Put your finger. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Here, we've uh let's let's go in a different direction. Um Jonathan, do you believe yes. in mind reading? Um I don't know. Okay. Mm. That's yes, okay. Yes and no. How yes often no. have we started seeing the song that was in the other's brain? She, yeah, I think she can read my mind. See, I think I think that's that's really interesting the connection that we build with our, you know, significant others. Mm -hmm. Um but we're, I'm, we're going to try to, I mean, we've kind of been building a little bit of rapport here now. Sure. I want to see if that's enough for me to be able to kind of delve inside your brain. Okay. Okay. So um, what I have here is a bunch of cards with different emotions on it. Okay. What I'd like you to do is think back deep in your memory. Now, it doesn't have to be too deep. It could be from your childhood. It could be from yesterday. Uh, but just to, uh, a vivid memory okay. that has some emotional hook to it. Okay. Okay. And I want you to read through and find an emotion that goes along with that memory. Or, if you can't really lock on one, if you see an emotion and then you're like, oh my god, and it brings back a memory, okay. go with that. So, okay. you know, letting the word kind of okay. direct it. Okay. So, do that relatively quick. There, there's a bunch there, but just kind of let one pop out at you and let me know once you've got it. And when you do, set your card face down on the table. Okay, I'm trying Okay. You got one? Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah, and you can set the other cards uh, away. Okay. Perfect. You'll see that there's a quote on the back? Yes. Yes? Go ahead and read that quote out loud. True peace is not merely the absence of tension, it is the presence of justice, Dr. Martin Luther King. Does that mean anything to you? I mean, does it relate to your memory at all? No. No, but it's a good no. quote. Yeah, it's right? great. Great yeah. quote. Yeah. Um, Alright, so you, but you, you're thinking of one word now, right? Perfect. Keep that word in your mind. Okay. And now, I've got another set of cards. These cards have the same emotions, but in different orders. Go ahead and find okay. the card that has your emotion, and when you found it, go ahead and set it down. That was fast. Okay. Excellent. Yep. You can set those away. Perfect. And you'll you'll notice there's a painting. Yes. Go ahead and hold that up as if you're viewing it in a in, a, in an art gallery. Well, or, or yeah, yeah, just like that. Perfect. And, or I want you to turn the painting any way that you think it should go. Like that? Yeah. Now when you look at that painting, do you feel the emotion tied to the memory? 
I can't. You can't. And, and that, that, that's a great response because we know that art is all in the eye of the beholder, right? I mean, I, we went to Europe and, and saw tons of Renaissance art and by like the 10th painting, I'm like, I think these are all pretty much the same, right? Um, <laughs> but amazing nonetheless. Yeah, it's it amazing work. Yes. Um, but art is all in the eye of the beholder. Let's see which painting you got. See, I love, this is actually one of my favorites. And a lot of people orient these paintings in different ways, which is interesting because depending on how you turn it, you may see different images. It's kind of like uh, ink blots, mm -hmm. right? Um, now, when I see this, when I look at it, I look at it like this. And, and the first thing that jumps out at me is this circle here, which, which, what does that look like to you? The first thing that pops in your head, just this, the conglomeration of color. <laughs> Okay. See, to me, that looks like Captain America's shield. Does it <laughs> yeah, not? It does. Right? You got a little bit of blue, the white stripes, the circle, mm -hmm. right? Um, lots of color makes me think that the memory that you're having is a very is a positive memory, very positive. Um, like with me, I love comic books. Always love Star Wars, superheroes, that sort of thing. So when I look at this and I see that Captain America shield, that's the person that popped out at me. I'm like, oh my god, this is like speaking to me. Um, and, and you see these these brushes of color. For me, that seems kind of like erratic, like kind of out of control. Does this does this kind of tie in a little bit? Because sure, you, you're bit, you're yeah. feeling something very bit. positive. Yes. It's uh, yeah. it's happiness, but it's it's yes. more explosive than that. <laughs> That's yeah. True. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Like I mean, this could be like a, a graduation or a, a birth of a child, right? <laughs> um, this this could be maybe a raise, a promotion at work. Close. Um, close. It's, yeah. it's something like that. But you were definitely feeling ecstatic <laughs> yes, during this moment, yes. weren't you? That was, was it. That, ecstatic? that was it. That Thank was you very it. much. Nicely Thank done. You. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Wow, that was great. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's do... Now, since we're on the subject of, you know, Star Wars and, and superheroes and, and superpowers, you know, magicians kind of fall into that category. But, Superheroes or Definitely. having the force. I mean, okay. technically, we have powers that other people don't, right? Yeah. Um, she's just going on. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, like, whatever, you, whatever you have to say to yourself to help yeah. you sleep at night. No, but you know, I can remember walking home from school when I was a kid, uh, walking down my street and pretending I had powers, and I would like pull the trees out of oh, the ground yeah. with my mind. Um, and then as I got a little older, I, I discovered Star Wars, got really hooked onto that, and I was like, I would love to have the force. And I remember, you know, sitting on the couch trying to move the remote. With, you know, with the force, and then, yes, yes, I don't know, maybe, it could have been a force hallucination, you know, you just want it so bad you see it. It's um, those pens. That's right, it's all the, all the marker sniffing. But once I discovered magic, I realized that that's not far off from uh, the force, right? We manipulate the physical world around us in ways that we shouldn't. I'd like you to examine these four coins. These are old uh, barber half dollars, solid silver, Make sure they're not like uh, like leftover Hanukkah gelter or anything yeah. like that. <laughs> Extremely stale chocolate. They look okay. Yep. And uh, Maria, if you would examine the glass, make sure the the uh, the sides are solid, the bottom solid, top is solid. That's a glass. <laughs> That's a glass. All right, awesome. Um, I'm going to demonstrate my use of the force for you guys today. The four coins. We will place the four coins into the glass. Yes, four points. Okay. Yes. Into the glass. Yes. As fair as I can be. Yeah. Now, if I had the force, I can manipulate those coins without touching them. I could take a coin from there, place it in my hand, but you wouldn't see it happen. It would look like this. But if you imagine enough, and you really do have the force, you should be able to get one coin to jump out. Marie, hold out your left hand for me. Oh! <laughs> and that's just three okay, that in is the cool. glass. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, the second coin, we know that we can get it to travel to from the glass. Uh, instead of manipulating the coin this time, we're going to do something else. Three coins into the glass, yes? Yes. Yeah. Into the glass. Instead of manipulating the coins, I manipulate the glass. The molecules of the glass that make up the glass as a whole. Now, we know what glass is. It's actually melted down sand. So if you can get those molecules to kind of separate, pull out your hand for me, they can soften <laughs> up like sand, allowing that coin to go right through the bottom of the glass, leaving us just two inside. Thank you very much. 
Now, two have traveled from the glass. One traveled from, one traveled through. The next one, I want you to watch this one closely because you'll see the very moment that it happens as it travels from here. Then I won't. <laughs> watch that coin slowly melt away. Travel oh, no. to the glass. <laughs> Yeah, and I was staring too, yeah. right? You're like staring, like. Now here, I'll, I'll do this. I'm gonna do this last one as fairly as I can. Hold out your right hand, Jonathan. Excellent. And I'm gonna count these coins in your hand. You verify for okay. me. One, yes. Two. Two. Three. Three. And four, yes. Four. With your other hand, just kind of stack those up like this. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Just like a stack of poker chips. Perfect. And what I'd like you to do is with your thumb and middle finger of your left hand, pick up just the top coin, place it in my hand, and then close your hand around the other three. Excellent. Don't move from my okay. The fourth and final coin. Now, you know, when I was a kid, my mother used to make my Halloween costumes. I dressed up as Darth Vader right here, right? Obviously. This is my cape. This one does. So we're going to bring my little Darth Vader cape. Maybe we'll get a little bit more of the, uh, the dark side here, right? But now, that coin is isolated under the glass. Nowhere to go. You can see it under the glass. Yes? Not only can you see it, but you can hear it, hear it under the glass. Yeah. Don't. Okay. <laughs> you Do didn't feel it? No Do me a favor. Count the coins oh. one at a time into the glass. Open them. Mm -hmm. One at a time. One at a time. <laughs> one. <laughs> no way. Three, four. <laughs> that is so weird. The force is strong in you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Of course, getting them to travel one at a time is easy. Getting them from the pocket back to the glass at the same time, that's, that's the hard part. All right. That was great. Thank you. Man. Yeah. Now, um, let's do this. Uh, I. Is it safe to assume that you're a couple? Yes, we're married. Married. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. This will be great. Jonathan, I'm going to have you select a card, but don't let me see what it is. Okay. Oh, that's not fair. See. Yeah, because I'm, I'm looking at the cards. Uh, let's let's do it like this. Go ahead and take... No, that's boring, because every card trick's like, here, put the card, right? And then, so instead, I'm just going to go through like this, and I want you to see a card that jumps out at you uh, and lock that card in your mind. Not the bottom card. That's too easy. Right? Okay. Do you get one? No. All right, I'll go a little slower for you. Here we go. You get okay. one. Yeah. You got a card. Yes. All right. Lock that card in your okay. mind. Okay. And just to be sure that that card is thoroughly mixed up, Marie, go ahead and hold the deck as if you're about to start dealing. Okay. Yeah. You play cards at all? Go fetch with but the students. That's that's fine. But you know how to hold cards and deal I'm them out, right? Capable of it. Perfect. Uh, Jonathan, yes. I want you to really focus on the card. Okay. Okay. I feel very stressed. And you're gonna send a mental image of okay. that card. To Marie. And Marie, see if you can kind of mind. pick up on not necessarily <laughs> the card, because that might be difficult for, for you know, a, a newcomer right to this. Yes. Uh, so instead, go by women, woman's intuition. <laughs> she doesn't seem confident on that. That's okay. <laughs> That's all right. So I want you to send that image, and I want you to just start dealing cards face down, one at a time, into a pile. One pile. One pile. And just deal. And I want you to look at him as you deal. And whenever you get the inkling, I want you to stop. We're going to see if we can create an, you know, uh, a connection here, a tangible connection. <laughs> I'm sending it. Okay, I've stopped. Right there. Are you sure? I guess. All right, look, you stopped at one card. I'm going to slide that over here. Jonathan, if you would, go ahead and place your hand on top of that card. Keep that safe. Now look, go ahead and turn that card over. This one? Yeah. That's not the card that you saw correct? Go ahead and turn that top card over. This one? That's not the card you saw. Correct. Now you saw one card. Now I just, th this may not work. It probably won't work. <laughs> it's like a hundred percent chance this won't work, but I want you to just kind of throw out a guess of what card you think Jonathan saw. Because you were kind of picking up on some vibes, and I think you did pretty well. No vibes. Three of clubs. Woo! No. no. <laughs> All right. Well, that, I mean, try. that that was a good try. No way. What card did did you see? You want me to say it? Yes. It was the four of spades. The four of spades. Go ahead. Turn <laughs> over the card that she Wait. dealt to. No. 
And there it is. Oh, the four. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. Not a bad. Not bad. So my really intuition is not bad, but I'm not having to say it verbally. <laughs> Right. Okay. It's much easier when it's just a deck of yeah, cards, right? Yeah, I'm just handing you things. <laughs> All right. Well, All let's right. let's do. Well you guys done. got time? Well done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. That's right. I keep I keep it in here so I forget about it. Like a rabbit. You know what that is? <laughs> a coin purse. Exactly kind right. <laughs> Minus the purse. Right. Sans purse. Um, but so you know what it is without the the bag then. Uh, Clip. Useless. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but unless unless you have a good imagination, it's an imagination holder. Do you see anything inside of it? No. It's because it holds my imagination. I have a very <laughs> crappy imagination. No, no, I'm kidding. Actually, everything inside is actually invisible until you take it out, <laughs> and then you can you start to see it. And you know what this is, right? A red ball. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, a clown, clown nose. Clown nose. That's right. So if one is a clown nose, what is it if I've got two? <laughs> Clown noses. Close. It's clown nipples. No. <laughs> Depending on the uh, the event, ACs. You know. But here's the idea. I place one in this hand, one in this hand. The hands will come close, but they won't touch. Did you see what happened? No. No, that... but I bet there's two in one of the hands. No, no, nothing happened. I'm just making sure you guys are are paying attention. All right. So, Marie, look. One in the right hand, one in the left. The hands come close, and that's what happens. Did you see it? They switch places. <laughs> Alright, you missed it, you missed it. I'll do it again, they switch back. Wow. That was impressive. Wow. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Now that's just, that's just lazy magic. Uh, one here, one here. One, two, three. and you know what, point to a hand. Which hand? Let's go left. Perfect, you hold that one, okay. don't let go. Watch okay. this one as it jumps from here to here. Free up the hand. Did you see it go, Marie? Yes. That would have been good, right? Right? But it'd be better if it was in your hand. No way. Show Marie what you got. <gasps> That's... That's cool. All right, Marie. Uh, yes. Let's start over. Let's try this with you. Uh, point to a ball. Perfect. Keep an eye on this one. Would you hold that one nice and tight for me? Squeeze it. Uh, Jonathan, go ahead and blow. Here it goes from here. Go ahead. No. You can just take them home with you. Oh, that's so weird. That's just so weird. Jonathan, do you have a favorite color? Yes. What's your favorite color? Green. Green? That's my favorite color. Awesome. Uh, Marie, what's your favorite color? I have mint. Burgundy. You're killing me. I'm just All right. here to work with you. Right. Right. Hold out your hand just like this, and I want you to squeeze the ball tight, squeeze tight, and just rub your fists on the table. And see, these are sponges, right? So they can actually absorb color. The green felt should, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you picked up some lint off the table as well. But, uh, yeah. but do, uh, burgundy, that's that doesn't help me. No. Uh -huh. Try again. Purple. <laughs> Wrong. Try again. Blue. No, I'm, I'm kidding. We we can do purple. Uh, purple would look like this. <laughs> Just a shake. Forget it. Oh no. Purple. Whoa. And I want you to examine that. Make sure that there's no trap doors. Or